every day you invite us to your home. Now we invite you to our homepage. Join Channels TV on social media. Hang out with us on Google Plus forward slash Channels Television. Follow us on Twitter.com forward slash Channels TV underscore NG. Friend us on Facebook.com forward slash Channels Forum. And don't forget to like our page. That's not all. Subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com forward slash channels web to get posted and video updates and news and events in Nigeria and around the world. Channelstv.com, the news at your fingertips. At first, it's only anticipation that something is about to happen. This is one thing that makes life interesting. To compete not only with players across the field but across the world. It makes me feel joy when we win and sorrow when we lose. The action and reaction, the line, falling, dropping, despite the odds. I love it because it brings me tears, tears of victory, tears of joy. The skill that leads to the pass, the pass that leads to the shot, the shot that leads to the goal, the goal that determines the ultimate. Channel Sports, defining the moment of true sports. of every race when people are driven by echoes of the past to chart a course for an exalted future. Africa is at this threshold. As major actors in the Africa arena plot a renaissance towards common destiny, let's pedal across the streams of yesterday from the back streets of Africa to the defining roles of policy makers, the political realities of the African nation, balance of power and a strive to sustain national interest and identity. Join us on Network Africa on Tanner's Television. Network Africa, the rallying point for the magics of a new Africa. Hello there, it's a beautiful Friday morning and thank you for staying tuned to Channels Television. I'm Cynthia Arrea, this is News Track, here are our top stories. Now as Nigerians continue to demand probity and accountability in the management of its resources, the House of Representatives has beamed its searchlight on the oil sector. It's doing this by low, excuse me, it's carrying this out with the lower chamber setting up an ad hoc committee to investigate the non-remittance of $13.9 billion into the Federation account by the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. The committee was set up following a motion brought by the floor of the House by Haruna Manu, PDP Taraba, entitled The Urgent Need to Verify and Ascertain the Volume and Value of Crude Oil Sales from January 2013 to date. The ad hoc committee has been mandated to investigate the volume and value of crude oil sales 
and remittances into the federal account from January 2013 to date by NNPC and report back to the House within four weeks. Our correspondent Larry Lassisi now reports. If the oil sector is the goose that lays the golden eggs in Nigeria, then the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation is the agency that translates that into the dollars that runs the economy. It's also an agency that has always been of interest to the parliament. This time, the issue is on the volume and value of crude oil sales. Disturbed by the information credited to the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, on the status and remittances to the Federation account that the total crude oil sales from January to date was $20 billion. But the NNPC remitted only $7 billion to the Federation account. The motion elicited a rich debate which also touched on the effectiveness of the Parliament's oversight function. We in the Committee of Finance have continued pestering NNPC to come and divulge the revenue that they are collecting on behalf of the people of this country, we had never had any positive response. The NNPC had remained a dark tunnel. And no matter the intensity of light you try to put into that tunnel to see what is happening, the darker it becomes. How long are we going to continue, Mr. Speaker? Because some of these problems arise because, in my view, we are not taking our oversight functions very seriously. I'm sorry to say, but that is the way I look. So, Mr. Speaker, I would suggest that we don't set up an ad hoc committee, but let the relevant committees go and investigate and come back to us. I would also gladly join others to urge for the necessity of a very neutral committee that will, without fear or favor, go into this matter, investigate it, and let us discharge our duty. But the motion enjoyed a smooth passage. Please say aye. Those against, please say nay. The ayes have it. Falling revenue from the oil sector and its impact on the budget and the economy, this is one investigation Nigerians will be interested in. And if those who are constitutionally empowered to demand these answers don't get the answers, then who can? Lanry Lassese, Channels Television News. Now, as the House of Representatives ad hoc committee set out to investigate the allegations of unremitted funds at the NNPC, there are doubts that the probe would yield results. The Director General of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Muda Yusuf, believes that there is not enough political will to deal with transparency issues at the nation's oil and gas sector. Mr. Yusuf was speaking on our flagship, the News at 10. That, that there's a lot of transparency issues in the NMPC. And uh, the concern here is that because the economy is so dependent on oil, mm. NMPC is very strategic. So if you don't get it right with the NMPC, we are not likely to get it right with the economy. If there are this recurring shortfalls in oil revenue, it has implications for fiscal sustainability. Because you have a budget that has been predicated on a particular set of assumptions. Mm. We have the assumptions on the price. We have assumptions on the output. Granted, over the time, we have had issues with oil theft. We have had issues with oil prices. But even if you make allowances for all this, you, see, you still see that these figures don't add up. We are seeing instances in the National Assembly where the figures quoted by the Accountant General is at variance with the figures quoted by the uh, NMPC, is different from the one quoted by the CBN, and sometimes at variance with what's quoted by the Finance Ministry. So there are a lot of you know, things wrong with the entire system. Unfortunately, the, the leadership of the country has not been able to actually put its foot down on this matter. You recall that there have been several probes there have been several panels to investigate and you know, streamline the systems. It's all this investigation will get to some brick walls and uh, the whole thing will fizzle out. So I'm not too optimistic, but what we are hoping for is that if the major reform that will expect this place through the instrumentality of the PIP, then we could begin to see some sanity in the oil and gas sector. Mm -hmm. The finance minister was at the National Assembly.